John Cena publicly running your mouth. We really? have real problems with each other. There's a testosterone thing that just happens. You seem personally crushed. There is a giant underlying story that I felt as if he cheated. You're a part-timer, you're, you're going to Hollywood. You're gonna pay for running your mouth. It got pretty heated, it got pretty personal. Like father, like son, is Dwayne Johnson out of control? He's young, he's cocky, he could hit hard, and I was hard on him. He would beat my ass. He said, you are throwing it all away. It is the worst mistake you will ever make. 20,000 fans started chanting, Rocky sucks. This was so important to me. You carry the family name. You carry your grandfather's name. You carry my name. I said, you'll never be as great. And that was the beginning of the end. My dad was driving. My mom was in the passenger seat. They got into a very big fight. My old man makes a hard right, and he gets on the shoulder. My mom gets out of the car, and she walks right into the middle of I-65 and continues to walk down into oncoming traffic. I got out of the car, and I grabbed her and wrestled her over to the side of the road. She had a glazed look over her eyes that I had never seen before. Just like that, Dwayne became his mom's protector but he couldn't protect himself from his dad. He would take me down to the wrestling mats and he would he would beat my ass when I was five years old. He would always say, listen, if you're gonna cry, go home to your mother. If you're gonna throw up, go outside. And I wish I had someone at that time who could just pull me aside and hey, it's gonna be okay. We lived in a small efficiency apartment. My mom and I came home and, and there was an eviction notice on the door. It was the final eviction notice. My mom started crying, I felt like I never want to be in this position again. What can I do? So at 14 years old, I thought, well, the heroes in my life, Muhammad Ali, for example, professional wrestlers, they're all men who have worked hard with their hands and they built their body. Ah, yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do what my dad taught me and these other heroes. I'm going to go build my body so we're never evicted again. Instead of following his dad and grandpa into wrestling, he saw a different path to success. So I wanted to be the first one to buy my parents a house. My goal was to play in the NFL. I went on to the University of Miami on a full scholarship. I uh, became uh, injured my senior year. I had a dismal senior season. Then it started to hit me. What am I going to do? Where am I going to go? What's happening? I'm 23 years old. I am forced to move back in with my parents. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. all these dreams, and none of it came true. All my friends around me, those teammates, they were NFL stars. and. They became millionaires, buying their parents a home. But I had fallen so flat on my face for the first time in my life. I was depressed. I worked so hard. Hard work pays. I always thought, it's not paying for me. I got nothing. Dwayne thought his own path had failed, so he turned back to the only thing he knew. I took a deep breath. I said, I'd like to get into the business. He said, what business? I said, the wrestling business. He said, you are throwing it all away. It is the worst mistake you will ever make. So maybe I'll be no good, but I feel like in my heart I have to do this. So when I first started wrestling, the idea was, well, why don't you call yourself Rocky Maivia? Out of respect for your dad, Rocky Johnson, and your, and your grandfather, grandpa. Peter Maivia. And I thought, well, I just wanted to make my own way, and I wanted to be independent. The powers that be said, nope, that's your name. I had great angst every night before I went out because I was not able to be myself. 20,000 fans chanting Rocky sucks. I remember laying there in, in the ring and it was crippling for me. And I came to the realization that it wasn't me personally that they didn't like. It was that I wasn't being me. I wasn't being real. I wasn't being authentic. I came back, we were on live TV. I grabbed the microphone and started chanting Rocky sucks. And I said, I may be a lot of things, but sucks isn't one of them. In that moment, The Rock was born. The Rock had grabbed the public's attention. Finally, The Rock has come! His skill and showmanship rocketed him to stardom. Champion of the world. As a fan, I thought he was always one of, if not the most gifted performer to ever step in the ring. When I was at the, the height of my career, I was close to accomplishing everything that I wanted to accomplish. I knew going in, there's a shelf life to a career if I just wanted to get by on popularity. And I quietly walked away. Dwayne saw his path going in another direction, but his choice to follow it threatened the people he left behind. The people's champ 
He's never with the people. Rock, your words are see-through. He just said, deuces, and kind of left WWE to try to pursue a career in Hollywood. I felt as if, like, as if this people's champion had turned his back on me. Every single thing you're doing right now in the WWE, John, when you run The Rock down about being an actor, something I love, about being the people's champion, something else I love, yeah, your two faces have been trying to do the exact same thing for years. They see through it, John. It got pretty heated and it got pretty personal. Each watching each other's every move and not too happy uh, with the other party. But in order to follow his true path, he had to block out the noise from John Cena and other skeptics. Making the transition into Hollywood, there was no blueprint before me. I wanted to not only be good as an actor, I wanted to be great. I have to do everything I could possibly do to know the business of Hollywood. Then it got icy. I was told, again, well, if you want to be a star, maybe you shouldn't talk about wrestling. Maybe you shouldn't go to the gym as much. I went through that entire process for years trying to figure out who I was. And then when you look back on my earlier career, the films I was doing, they were good, but just not, you know, like, oh, that's how I like to see him because he is his true authentic self. And I had come from a world where I was connecting with an audience every night and I wanted that connection. Kind of shook me a little bit. You feel like you're alone and you feel like it's only you. I realize that I'm done trying to conform to Hollywood. Hollywood is going to work for me. And just like that, the machine conformed and the business conformed around me. Having forged his own path, Dwayne was ready to honor his family's legacy, and he knew there was only one person he could do it with. I wanted to come back and make history. There's only one guy who I could do that with, who it made sense with, and that was John Cena. and I said, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't be here today. And then I thanked him very much for all he's done for the industry and for all he's done for me. And we went backstage and had a shot together in celebration. But now in looking back, I was just being a selfish fan. And I wanted my rock to stay in my universe and keep raising that eyebrow and keep doing what he was doing. We had real problems with each other. Wow. We really did. Now, what's great about our relationship is, uh, you know, he's one of my best friends. And he got to honor his mom and dad in the way he always wanted. But I will say this from the bottom of my heart, and I love him very much. He's my son, and he always will be. And I'm very proud of him. I just got off the phone with my dad, and, uh, and man, it was a great call. He said, I want to buy you a brand new home. He couldn't believe it. He was speechless. And I never heard my dad talk like that. It felt good to me and it felt good to my heart. A brand new home. I love you, Duanta. <laughs> Dwayne followed his true path and lifted others up along the way. I realized there's great power in being myself. Same thing for all of us. I believe it's the most powerful thing that we could be. Just got to remember that on the other side of your pain, is something good. The most powerful thing you can be is yourself.